Yo, 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 what's up, family? Before we start the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and share to any and everyone that you can, just so we can get out there a little bit more. With that being said, let's get right into the video. So, as you guys may know, the Celtics just suffered their first loss at home to the Denver Nuggets, 102-100, and a lot has been said about the late-game offense, and I'm not gonna lie, during the live watch, I didn't think the offense, like, execution-wise was that good, but this is why we have film, right? This is why we can go back and watch games, so... Let's get right into it. We're only gonna do what's considered crunch time, so that's five minutes and under. This starts very early in the possession. Jalen Brown sees that he has Jamal Murray one-on-one. -on -one. They're the only ones that's this far into the court, right? And you see Jalen, he's like, come on, come on, I need this, right? The only thing I would do more is put the ball in Derek White's hands later in games. I'm not saying I would rather him take a shot over Tatum or Brown in crunch time. I don't want him inbounding. <laughs> that's one thing i don't want him doing i want him to have the ball in the possessions to win or to tie the game i think he'll make the right decision and the celtics players have always talked about encouraging terry white to be more aggressive if he ends up taking the shot to win the game or the tie and he misses nobody's gonna bat an eye because that's what they've been wanting him to do this entire time now if he goes off the rails and just tries to beat the hero that's something else i don't think the team is gonna deter Derek white from taking a last second shot but he makes the right play here. He recognizes that Jalen has the mismatch on Jamal Murray. Jalen fights to get position. He gets it into him, and Jalen just bulldozes his way to the paint. All right, so here we have a screen by Al. Tatum gets a wide open lane. He's just, right, so this isn't an, a late game execution thing. Well, Tatum didn't execute at the end. But as far as just the offense and the process, Tatum gets a screen from Al Horford. Nicole Jokic jumps the entire wrong way. Tatum gets a wide open lane with Jamal Murray as the paint protector. Tatum just has to dunk this ball or finish better. All right, so in this possession, they go right back to the Tatum and Al hopping and roll. And this ends up being a good play. But as you can see, even though Tatum didn't make that last one on that pick and roll, you see how different Nikola Jokic is playing it, right? He's on this side now. He's trying to do something to deter Tatum from getting to the rim. But now that I look at this, right, of course, he made a good pass. Al got a wide open shot. But would you rather Tatum just go down here on Nikola Jokic? If he accelerates right now, he's one-on-one -on -one with Nikola Jokic. There's nothing this man is going to be able to do. Tatum does make a good pass, and this is a wide-open shot for a 40% three-point shooter, right? The only thing you could say is, out of all the players on the court for the Celtics right now, this is the player you least want taking the shot in, like, crunch time. But it's four minutes left in the game. It's not like it's 30 seconds, right? This is a good shot. The process was good. I'm fine with this. All right, next possession. As you can see, Nikola Jokic... Doing amazing things, but the Celtics go to Horns action. Tatum sets up flair for White, brings Jamal to the free throw line. What this is, this is great offense. <laughs> they ran Horns action. Derek White comes off of the flare screen, right? So they switch it. They this screen causes the switch. They get their best player on Jamal Murray at the free throw line. He just misses the shot. This process, there's nothing wrong with this process right here. All right, so this is one of the more cluttered possessions. I can understand if people say, like, this was a bad possession as far as process, right? So they try to get something going, but the Nuggets do a great job switching it. Um, Jalen's forced to pick up his dribble, and he's catching the ball with seven seconds left at half court. At this point, you have to just drive and make something happen. Jalen is dynamic enough to do that, and he does. But I can understand if somebody says that this wasn't great basketball these type of possessions were huge in the in the celtics losing right so they got a couple of these possessions so brown he misses two free throws right the celtics had about three possessions where they got three plus offensive rebounds on the same possession and every shot was a three now i'm not saying those were contested threes i will have to look back but from the live watch, it looked like they just forced the three because they knew the momentum would be on their side and that the crowd would go wild if they made a three after getting all those offensive rebounds. It was one on the other end where they had about five offensive rebounds and Tatum just took a contested three because he knew the crowd would explode. And instead of attacking on those possessions, right, they just chucked threes. This is technically an open three, but Tatum's more open. <laughs> but I guess Brown wanted to redeem himself after the free throws. I understand that. He shoots that one. They get another offensive rebound. Derek White is fairly open, right? But, you know what I'm saying? But, okay, no, this is a wide open shot. This is a wide open shot. But I just don't like, I don't like the mindset after the, they have these offensive rebounds. Like, it just has to be a three. They did this multiple times. Again, they had a possession where they had about six offensive rebounds. They had another one where they had three plus in the same possession, and they shot all threes. 
attack, attack, attack. All right, so this wasn't a play or anything, but you do still have Jason Tatum, right? And Aaron Gordon's a great defender, but when you have a five out offense, right? You create so much space for your stars. And this is why I preach at attacking, right? And when the spacing is correct like this, Tatum needs to make one move and he's gone. And this opens up plays for other people, right? Somebody cheats over, he gets over to Drew, who shoots about 62% in a corner. I have no doubt that he would drain that, but Tatum just drives right past Aaron Gordon. And something's going on here with uh, with Jamal Murray. I don't think he liked the defense or whatever's happening. And this is why you go out and get a guy like Porzingis. This is why you go out and get, get a guy like Drew Holiday. So you're able to play five out. It looks like MPJ was supposed to be helping here. As you can see from Jamal Murray's reaction when Tatum drives, I guess he's pointing to where MPJ is supposed to be in help on the drive, but but that's Chris Stapps out there, right? He can't really come off him because he knows Chris Stapps is going to shoot that ball. So it allows Tatum to get a wide open drive. All right, so I'm a little conflicted about this one. What I don't like is how long it took them to get into something. Like, this 18 seconds on the clock, Tatum is still at half court. It's going to get down to 12 and Tatum still at half court. I don't like that, but Tatum does the right thing. He attacks. You know, he goes downhill of some sort, brings Nicole Jokic over. I seen this live where Porzingis was open and calling for it. KP, uh, KCP is going to cheat over, but I, I don't, that doesn't really change my opinion. Um, KP could have got the ball here, but Tatum makes a great pass and White gets a fairly open shot. I don't, like, the process took a little long, but I guess the end, like, the thing we got at the end was cool. We got a Derek White 3, which is fine. And we could have got offensive rebound, but KP just soared right over Nicole Jokic's back. All right, so Aaron Gordon just airballed a 3. And in these last 20 seconds, there was a lot of plays that happened that, you know, people are like, oh, the Celtics did the wrong thing, did the wrong thing. So this here, I, again, I don't know how to feel about this one. Do I like Tatum attacking? Yes, because... In late game situations or in the quarter situations, Tatum always takes a jumper, always. And it's about with like 10 seconds or less left in a half or a quarter, he takes a jumper. I like that he attacked and didn't let the Denver Nuggets defense set up, but I'm not a fan of him going one on three. He got to the cup, again, he was out of control, he was reckless. Like, I don't know if I really like this one, but I do like that he attacked. Love Derek White getting the early foul, you know, not keeping his head down. He fouled Aaron Gordon, which is a good move. But as far as Tatum, I do like him attacking one on three. I don't know. And he was out of control. I don't really know how I feel about this one. I'm going to lean to no. I'm going to lean towards bad. But y'all can sway me in the comments if y'all if y'all think this was a great one. But there's some things I do like about it. But the, the one on three, the out of control makes me not like this move okay not a possession but i want to give props to joe joe called two really good timeouts late in this game right tatum again just catches the ball and, and just goes out of control i like that he's trying to attack now but he's out of control joe runs into the picture to call a timeout and we get a possession all right so let's try to decipher this first play right I, again, I don't like White taking the ball out, right? Drew's also a good passer. Let him take the ball out. I want White on the floor to make... Now, I'm not saying the inbounder can't get the ball back and stuff, but that's not what happens. The Celtics don't usually do that. So this play was a a post-up for Jalen Brown. I guess Tatum was the decoy here running up. Um, I don't know if the play was actually for Tatum, but the I would like Brown to be a little bit more patient. I want him to actually set this... I want Drew to actually get a screen on Gordon and touch him so brown can get a little bit more space because if he touches him like if he act like he like he rubbed him for sure but if he actually gets a chance to set this screen maybe it forces a switch with jamal now on brown we've seen how that worked earlier in the fourth quarter but aaron gordon is a tough defender of course Jalen does a nice job of not forcing a shot that's not there get to the porzingis and the only thing I will say, I do like that Joe called a timeout. He could have called it a little bit earlier. Maybe, like, right here I would have called a timeout. But Tatum's kind of open, I guess. But here is where I would have called a timeout. Drew's not doing anything. We could have had, a, like, three more seconds. But I still love that Joe saw that this play was not going anywhere. And he called a timeout to save it so we can get another chance. All right, so here's the last play of the game. It's the same concept, right? You want to get Tatum in the mid post area like you just did Brown, right? What I would have liked to see done differently is run the same play you just ran for Jalen, right? Because 
they set the screen here, right? And do you remember where Jalen caught the basketball at? He caught it like right here, closer to the basket. The screen that Porzingis sets, it makes Tatum go over him instead of going this way to get closer to the basket. That's one thing I would have done differently. Um, I wouldn't have Tatum catch it out this far. Uh, Nikola Jokic also does a good job of not like allowing Tatum to curl as he's pushing him off. This could have been a, an oop. I didn't see this live, okay? And of course, this isn't the play. I don't know why he's looking at Pazigas here, but this could have been an oop play, right? Because they're so worried about Tatum. KCP's trying to fight to get back in the picture. Nikola is trying to make sure that KCP has time to get to Tatum. Porzingis is wide open. You throw this up now, this is either a foul or a bucket, or it could be an and one. Because Nicole Jokic isn't gonna just let him do it, I suppose, right? So he's gonna either get a foul, or he's gonna score, or he's gonna be an and one. But what comes out here is, also I didn't like this pass from White, right? It was kinda high, he's hesitating. If he would've, like, KCP does a great job here, right? He puts his mouth, he's making it tough to catch the ball. The catch, you know, it's, it's a tough catch and it hinders Tatum from, you know, just getting the ball, facing up and doing his move. And again, I feel like if Tatum would have just did this spin move, he could have got to the rim. And I think he shot it. He Look, he shot the ball with three seconds left. He still had time to dribble or attack or do something of that nature. But I think the catch and again, he said post game that he expected them to foul, but they're up two and tatum is not going to take a three here so there's no point in fouling um he said he rushed it which he did like i just said um he shot the ball with three seconds but instead of the half spin do the spin move or just go through him which i want you to do right keep your dribble alive like do the spin move keep your dribble alive and go to the paint but instead he does a half spin fader which i mean for tatum this isn't a contest right this is this is a tough shot but for Tatum, KCP doesn't even have his hand up, right? He just grabs his knee or something like that, right? But I would like to see Tatum attack more in these situations. Again, like I said earlier, when the clock is going down at the end of the quarter, it's always a jump shot for Tatum. And I hate that because he's so good attacking. And this is not, again, it's not a bad shot, but I would rather him attack to so he can get an easier one. But that is the video. If you guys enjoyed it, again, please leave a like, subscribe, and share the ENA when you can. Just bring you out there a little bit more. And I will see you guys in the next video. But this is Nick. Peace.